Good afternoon guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Um, yes, today is Wednesday. I will not have a grocery haul for you guys tomorrow. Um, even though I have, I told you guys in yesterday's vlog, I was like, I'm ready. Like I thought that yesterday was like Wednesday and today I felt like sort of was like Thursday already and now like pushing that a whole day back feels like, I don't know, my schedule's just sort of thrown off. Um, but that's because Monday and Tuesday and over the weekend too, I was up super early. Today, um, I think it was because I was watching that last episode of Stranger Things that I ended up staying up too late and, um, well it wasn't the last episode. It was the last episode of the second season which I never finished watching and I don't know why. So I told you guys how I had the one episode yesterday left to watch and I was like, I'm gonna take a shower and then watch it when I get out. I honestly got out of the shower by like midnight maybe something like that i think i finished watching the show by like probably one o'clock at the very latest but i couldn't fall asleep until almost like two i think because like normally when i come out of the shower like unless i'm reading i normally wind up going like pretty much straight to bed like i don't really wind up watching tv or anything like that like i leave my tv on but i really try and not like actually watch it because i really want to try and fall asleep and the problem was was that i actually was almost falling asleep while i was watching the episode but i was like no i have to stay awake i have to stay awake and i think i kept pushing myself to stay awake that then i couldn't actually fall asleep sleep when I wanted to so I ended up going to bed like falling asleep sort of late last night I ended up waking up late today which I was super bummed out about um but then on top of that too um I haven't been reading lately because like last night I ended up watching that last episode and then the last couple nights too like I've been going to bed actually early but so like because of that normally I'm like well like I don't want to stay up too late then and like read like a chapter and stay up too late so I think I'm going to tonight because I'm going to bed somewhat like I said earlier and I'm hoping that like because I woke up late today um like I'm scared that I won't be tired to be able to fall asleep again but like I said reading always actually helps me like get tired enough to fall asleep um even when I'm not tired I think it's just like looking at all of the words on a page that ends up actually like helping me fall asleep and maybe too it's like getting into my brain like I don't know like again like reading something and like visualizing it actually helps me like get into the process of falling asleep versus watching tv like where I feel like it's just like a lot of like like you know like sights and you know stuff like that and you know again paying attention to that and like trying to understand what's going on and a lot of things to look at you know all that kind of stuff versus like when you're reading something you're just reading words on a page and you're envisioning it it's almost like dreaming while you're awake <laughs> and so like versus like watching tv is definitely not like that and so i feel like that's actually what sort of helps me to fall asleep if i really want to try and go to bed earlier i will normally wind up reading and sometimes honestly i get tired out before i've even finished reading a chapter like i'll only read half of the chapter and i'm like i'm too tired like i have to go to bed <laughs> like i'm not going to be able to finish reading this or you know my eyes are like closing and stuff like that so anyways um yes I'm I'm hoping that you know I can get that in tonight but like I haven't read a chapter in like the last like several days I think since like probably last week um because I know I haven't read any over this week and I didn't read anything over the weekend so it had to have been at least sometime like last week so um but even though I did wake up late today I still pretty much got everything done that I wanted to I did dishes I didn't do laundry but what I did do was I washed the dog's blankets which were pretty smelly and just gross and dog like so um because I ended up doing that um I wanted to wash the washing machine after the fact so that now that we're washing human clothes again I don't want like the washing machine to be all gross and yucky and you know all that kind of stuff so I ended up adding some like the washing machine cleaner in there and ended up running I love that our washing machine has a like tub cycle like tub cleaning cycle on there so that's what I ended up doing was I ended up running um like I said that and then it normally winds up honestly it always looks really sparkly and it doesn't smell like anymore like sometimes it almost not like musty but like sometimes there's just like I don't know like you can sort of tell like that it's dirty and so like after today after good cleaning I was like that's nice like it smells very like 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 the cleaning products if that makes sense like again like fresh sort of um, so that's what I ended up doing today instead of actually doing laundry, but honestly, it takes like three hours for the washing machine to clean itself, which is a long time. But I honestly, 
I think you're supposed to do it once a month. I honestly do it at least a couple times a year, but I'm not really great about doing it every year. Honestly, I know that like there's a lot of people that don't ever wash their washing machine and um, up until like just recently, I didn't know that really, even though it has that feature on there, like, and we now have that we got like five years ago or whatever, like an actual high efficiency washing machine. Before that we had like, one that was probably from like maybe the 90s, early 2000s at best. Um, it was pretty old. It was actually somebody else's that we ended up getting after ours that was original to the house when we moved in. And I don't know when again it was like bought or updated, which but we moved into the house in 2001, so it was at least at least that old. Um, and then that one ended up going out. We ended up getting another one from a friend who I think was again probably as old or older maybe. And then when our dryer finally went out, which again I think was older than the washing machine, um, which honestly, like I said, it was the same like almost the exact same model it seemed like as the one that um we had at our old house which we probably had since the 90s so like I said I think it was probably from the 90s um but and I know our, our uh stove that we just replaced like two three years ago two years ago um yeah two years ago it was 2020 that we got that new uh the new stove oven range that we got um that one I think was from 85 I want to say um it must have been the people that originally lived here um and like that's the other thing too guys is that I genuinely think that um like I don't even know when the cabinetry was updated in the house but it's like was like traditional like sort of 90s like um maybe I don't even really want to say 80s like I think it was probably the 90s um that like all the cabinetry was updated but I think I was telling you guys the really weird thing and while I was watching Stranger Things right I totally picked this up one of the houses I don't remember which one it was has like an orange like countertop we had the exact same countertop out in our garage and I honestly think that it was maybe like a 70s maybe 80s style like countertop but they replaced it at some point and then did the new cabinetry I think in the 90s maybe 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 early 2000s like right before we moved in um but again I want to say that the people that lived here before us didn't even do it I feel like it was maybe the people that lived here before them which I think that we're only the third owners in this house maybe I think that it was only us a family that lived here right before us that, that my parents bought the house from and there was an older man that lived here I think maybe like with his wife or something like that but I think that he was maybe the original owner to the house and ended up selling it or something like that I don't know I don't know who had the house before him but my mom says that it, like he originally I think had the house at least before them and lived here for a significant amount of time and was like very like I don't know like construction like like I think he did a lot of the I don't want to say updating but I think like again maybe around the time that he was selling the house was when again maybe he did some of the updates and stuff like that um or at least somewhat more recently but again that countertop like I said that was in the show literally the exact same thing was out in our garage for forever and I think honestly just a couple years ago Again, I want to say it was 2020 we ended up getting rid of it because for the longest time some of the cabinetry that was out there, which again, the cabinetry was all really old, but you can tell the pieces were pieces that did fit in our kitchen before. Um, like the like edge pieces like is the same, but now the new one that we have is definitely updated. But those ones we ended up doing, reuse them. They were all in the garage, like just for storage and stuff like that. But then we ended up reusing them and we put them in my mom's office to make her custom desk. However, before that, two of the, sh the, um, the cabinets were, we had the long piece of like countertop on top of those two to sort of make like a little makeshift workbench for my dad outside um but like I said it was that was the exact same one that was in there and like the cabinets too were like really old like dark wood and our our living room used to have paneling too you can tell but it was painted over I think by the original owners um or maybe not the original the people that lived here maybe before us but the um the not the floorboards the um, molding like on the bottom um is different on just the wall it's there's only one wall in our living room that has the paneling um and you can tell because like I said the um molding is different in there it's just like a small strip of molding versus all the rest of this stuff is like the larger like like um taller sort of piece like I'm trying to look because it's the same as in here like 
two inches maybe and then it just has the little like strip molding that's all they have in the living room against that paneling um but the paneling like i said was painted over when we first moved in so it wasn't like we were like oh my gosh there's paneling in here um but like i said i never really even noticed that. i just thought it was a cool pattern on there and then one day i went but this is actually paneling in here this isn't just like random like you know like i figured out what they had done in there and then again whoever ended up painting over it so like i said you can <laughs> when you've lived here like long enough and you've started to sort of piece those things together and you've seen sort of like all the extra like junk stuff that was out in the garage like you can see like how like it was probably definitely looked like a like 70s like the 80s style house that our house used to look like um but again we never actually got to see that but like i could tell like this piece of cabinet was definitely here like that was the color you know cabinets that we had in the, the kitchen the really weird thing though about the countertop is that there was never a cutout for the sink so i don't know where they had the sink and also too the countertop seemed really really long like for the kitchen so like i said i don't know if they had like if it was like again at some point the the design for the room was a little different now the other thing that is sort of interesting which just sort of occurred to me is that originally there was no second floor to the house they later ended up adding on the second floor um which is dormered out so the kitchen was possibly a little bit bigger and i think that my bedroom originally might have had a closet because uh, my room has no closet and and it's an actual bedroom so versus like my mom's office is also a bedroom but it has a door to the backyard so it almost is like I don't know so it's it's again a bedroom but it's sort of like a weird like in between like it's not just like our neighbor's house is like both of the neighbors on either side of us both of their back doors are off their kitchens like ours isn't like ours is just off of one of the bedrooms so it's like sort of weird but that one has a closet my parents bedroom has a closet my bedroom doesn't have a closet and so I think that again maybe the stairs weren't there there was maybe a closet off of my room somehow at some point and I think maybe the kitchen was redesigned or reconfigured a little bit differently but like that's one of the things that I would love to know like again people that maybe lived here before us like if they ever had pictures of like what the house looked like or something like that to sort of be able to see like oh my gosh like that was our kitchen like it used to look like that or again like it was again configured differently or whatever because I can't figure out where else they would have had the countertop if they didn't have it like in the same place where we have our countertop like the one strip but there's no sink so that means the sink had to have been in a different part of the house and like where else would the sink have been and like yeah so that's why i sort of don't know but um it would be interesting like i said to have ever found that out like if there was you know like people that did live here before us so if there were ever pictures or even to like what the outside of the house looked like like maybe a really long time ago where it was like first built or something like we could go to like the town like um like you know i don't know if you can go to like town hall but like the history museum or something like that like we have a town museum in town um or you know like i said like something like that like that they could tell us like a little bit of history about the house would be really cool to know but like i said it is cool to just sort of see those little pieces and like be like that had to have been in the house somewhere or, you know that was like definitely different so that's why the stairs that run in our kitchen weren't wouldn't have been there because the other reason we know that the expansion was later added it wasn't original to the house was because the um ductwork for the furnace there's still a huge patch in the hallway that was just like boarded over because i'm assuming that again they ran some type of vent like i think it's a return up and over you know in there but then when they dormant it out they couldn't still have it up there so they just ended up taking it out and in the returns in the living room which i think i've told you guys that before it's really small um but the vent is still in the hallway it's just covered over um and so there's nothing there it's just the floorboard for upstairs is above it and you can't really even tell though but um it was never like you know they never ended up doing any um what's that called like like the like drywall up you know over it um it's still just an empty vent that doesn't go anywhere anymore <laughs> um but that's like i said how i know that like the expansion parts you know the upstairs wasn't what was original to the house it was later added on and later dormered out it wasn't like i said the original part to the house so that's the only thing i could think of is like maybe the sink was in a different spot or again maybe that countertop was actually in a different spot and like the same thing too like maybe the stove or the refrigerator 
refrigerator were again like moved somewhere else like against the wall where the um you know like the stairs were or something like that because if the stairs weren't there that kitchen would be so much bigger but like that's the thing is that like you know you can't take the stairs away because then you wouldn't be able to get upstairs so yeah like i said the house is a little weird but our house is actually there are I don't want to say it's like it's not a Sears house but it probably was maybe from some type of catalog at some point and I want to say it was built in the 50s maybe I think my mom said something like that um maybe the 40s at latest um I think I don't really know but um either way the the house our house there's at least several other ones in town there's one street that has multiple of like the exact same layout of our house and then our friends had neighbors who actually lived next door to them um they had the same like house layout and stuff like that and the same like dormered out space and stuff like that so that's why i sort of don't know what came first like you know if like but there is i think at least one maybe two houses on that street that has a lot of the ones that looks like ours that doesn't have a second floor dormered out but i'm sort of wondering if if like that was like oh it like comes this way like you can just build it straight away with the dormer out upstairs or like if that was just an option for the house like oh if like years down the road you want to add the you know a dormer out onto it like you can or like I said what that sort of was but there's a lot of them that have that same dormer that is ours but like I said it's not like you know I don't know ours definitely wasn't original to the house but I'm wondering if some of the other ones were or again like how that all went about or if like all at the same time they were like oh let's just like you know do all of these different houses like you know and add dormers onto them now or you know like I said whatever the case may be um so like I said it is an interesting thing to ponder but um that's why like I'm like <laughs> sort of like I said noticing like I can sort of see the house from like its old bones like what it used to possibly look like which is kind of cool but um you know like I said she's been through an awful lot she has been through a lot of different paint jobs and a lot of different manicures and a lot of upgrades and you know all that kind of stuff but um I totally forgot where I was going I think I've started with the washer and dryer and stuff like that um but that's what I got done for today I did do sort of did laundry but it was more just to wash the washing machine because it took forever to take care of that today um but that's all squeaky clean and nice and you know shiny all that kind of stuff so I did edit upload like I said did dishes all that kind of stuff but um it was that's the other thing too is that we do have a dishwasher and a spot for a dishwasher with like definitely wouldn't have been for the original house you know and honestly too it wasn't even really all of that common and popular to have had one even like when the house would have been built so that's why again too like the house was definitely upgraded at least once maybe twice because like I feel like again still if it was like built in like you know the 60s or you know 50s 40s possibly even it still probably wouldn't have had that atrocious orange countertop that we found in the garage um it probably still would have been something different so um like I said I don't really you know entirely know how many times it's been upgraded but like that'd be something that'd be so cool to know um you know like how many different sort of facelifts has the house gone through uh, um I don't know maybe I'm just a total nerd and think that's so cool but like it is sort of when you live in like a little bit of an older house again it's not like our house is like 100 years old or anything but it was built in the 40s we're getting up there right like 80 years old um like I said I don't know my mom said possibly I think she said like 40s maybe 50s but it could have even been maybe the 60s I don't know um to me it seems like a style that would possibly be more like 40s 50s though um the style of our house but so that's why I don't totally know but again it could be kind of somewhat older but anyways I'm going to take a shower and get to bed I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys